Hello, uh, good evening, brother. My name is uh, Atta from Pakistan. Okay. You can call me brother Atta. And you're from Somalia, right? Yeah. yeah. So normally, what I uh, ask my Uber driver uh, if I can speak some spiritual words, if somebody can feel longingness and somebody feel his heart touching yeah. to God. So, so is that okay with you, right? Yeah. Let's say, <coughs> middle left, right? Let's say all around the world. They are minus plus five thousand religions, right? Yeah. And uh, they all fighting all the time to be the number one. Who is the number one? Who got the most of the truth? And all of them, they they believe hundred percent truth. They say we got the hundred percent truth. Quran say Allah is one. Yeah. Christianity say in Bible, especially New Bible, they believe Allah has three forms. Okay. One is Holy Spirit, one is Jesus, mm. and uh, one God Himself. <laughs> if you go to India, yeah. Hindu people believe there are millions of millions of millions of gods. If you go to China, Japan. <coughs> They believe there was a God. Then He transformed Himself into creation. Like this tree is God, this sun is God, this moon is God, the sky is God. You are God. I am God. Mm. But before He created us, He was God somewhere. Okay. Now He is not God anymore. It's you and me. Yeah. Because He transformed Himself to us. Okay. Mm. How do they know? They just believe it according to their mental calculation. Okay. My point is, in their books, there were so many times the truth has been revealed. Why don't they understand? Even in Quran, Prophet Muhammad. Said many, many, many times mm -hmm. that Allah is one. Read Surah Mu'minun. Yeah. It says the people who will recall them believers, mm -hmm. but they will be people. Quran call them Khairul Ummah. Yeah. Those people will be walking at front. With their lights, okay. in the spirit, <clears throat> and other people, they will be walking behind them. Try to chase them. Please give us your light because we do not have light in our spirit. Yeah. And they will say, "Go back to your world. Mm. Get your own light." Yeah. This is what Quran is saying. So Quran say clearly you are here to get light in your spirit because they they won't be able to see your walk. Mm. It proves that our spirit need a physical form of light in it. Otherwise, in next world we will not be able to see it. Yeah. In our religions, they said get enlightenment with God. Or they say the one is blind in this world will be blind in next world. Etc. Even in Quran says, if you are spiritually blind in this world, we will, you will be spiritually blind in next world. So, <clears throat> believing is good. Yeah. You believe Allah is one. There are heavens. You believe. The hells. You believe. Angels. You believe. You believe after you die, they will be next life. Mm. But belief is not good enough it's good okay. but not what actually allah wanted us okay. he wanted us to have our spiritual eyes open and having experience okay and quran says those mm. 
who will be walk in the shadow and the will of Allah they will be tasting the fruit on earth Allah will let them taste the fruit even in this lifetime fruit of what of next world the blessings which means he's going to open our spiritual senses yeah but reading quran following the steps but not having any results mm-hmm. there must be something wrong mm-hmm. what do you think why you cannot see heavens why you cannot see angels why you cannot see your own spirit mm-hmm. why you cannot see anything what you believe why can't you see it mm-hmm. if you know quran says you need the light in your spirit what do you have any plan about it you ever thought okay. any molana taught us in the mosque no anybody online tell us no mm-hmm. anybody writing in the books no they don't know anybody in saudi arabia ever said that yeah my spiritual eyes open i can see prophets i can see heavens i can see this i can see this. do they say that no because they are spiritually blind mm-hmm. how to take our spiritual blindness away because quran clearly said you're going to be blind in next world too mm-hmm. if you don't have light in your spirit So my brother <coughs> let's not go to the edges but believing or having a religion in our life is like I'm having Uber app in my phone okay and uh, I know I believe if I use the app yeah I will get the driver okay I will get the car and i will be at the road and somebody will take me to my destination mm. okay i believe it yeah if i don't use the app mm. am i going to get somewhere no no i'm never going to be able to reach to my destination no maybe i will have to walk 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 mm. believing is like that okay having religion in your life but not having journey through it to allah that keep us spiritually blind allah should be the most important person in our life 24 hour now we all can you and me we both can put our heart on our uh, our hand on our heart and we can say when we wake up in the morning what are our important things what are our preferences to pay the rent to buy the food to drop the kids to the school to go and get work we can turn like so everything we have all preferences mm. except allah yeah. he is not important in our life practically okay. emotionally spiritually psychologically and anyhow we don't want him in our life we just want him to do what we need what we want from him to do yeah. give me a nice wife give me money give me business give me success give me health give me give me give me, 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 me. that's all yeah. <clears throat> but this was not a reason that allah has given us this life yeah. such a big universe such a short life must be very divine purpose for this life okay we never want to know we mm-hmm. don't we are so ignorant that we don't want to know what is the purpose of our life it's written in our books people don't they're not interested to know they could have reached some way mm-hmm. going to turn left from me sure. turn left so my brother so many things people has added we're going to tell lecture okay in religious books in how many firqas in islam you have ever heard 72 oh, islam firqa yeah 72 uh, i think 72 but i'm not sure yeah seven now there are more mm, mm. why you got only one quran why so many groups wa ta'sumu bi hablillah jamiin wa la tafarraqu prophet muhammad said it uh, just behind that car okay so if he 
clearly said it don't make groups and hold allah's ropes tightly in your hand <coughs> this is what really sure. so brother thank you so much for the journey okay i'll finish what i was saying that sure, sure. why we are different why we in groups because we are not interested to get in a unity we are interested to have our understanding about the book mm-hmm. in the preference that what i understood this is more important than quran this is more important than allah this is more important than islam and everything we don't have any place for allah and allah okay so brother thank you so much for listening to me sure, sure. i'll exchange number with you and i will send you the book sure please listen to that book without any prejudice may allah open your spiritual senses and push all stones away from your way mm. to meet him to reach him to have oneness with him sure. may allah bless you brother yeah. thank so you